Robert Shane Kimbra is a retired United States Army officer and a NASA astronaut. He was part of the first group of candidates selected for NASA astronaut training following the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. Kimbra is a veteran of two space flights, the first being a Space Shuttle flight and the second being a six-month mission to the IS on board a Russian Soyuz craft. He was the commander of the International Space Station for Expedition 50 and returned to Earth in April 2017. He is married to the former Robbie Lynn Nichols. Born June 4, 1967, in Colleen, Texas, Kimbra attended the Lovett School in Atlanta, Georgia, graduating in 1985. Kimbra graduated from the United States Military Academy in 1989 with a B.S. in Aerospace Engineering. He played for the West Point baseball team for four years and was selected as team captain his senior year Army Black Knights baseball players. Kimbra served as an Apache helicopter pilot in the first Gulf War. Operation Desert Storm in 1991. Kimbra later attended and graduated from Georgia Tech with a MS in Operations Research in 1998. He helped NASA train astronauts on landing procedures for several years before he himself was selected for training. He retired from the U.S. Army with the rank of Colonel. Kimbra was a mission specialist on STS-126, which launched on November 14, 2008. During the mission, Kimbra performed two EVAs. On the 10th anniversary of the International Space Station, Stephanie Shin Piper and Kimbra successfully conducted the mission's second EVA, and Kimbra's first, which lasted 6 hours, 45 minutes. Kimbra's second EVA was performed on November 24, 2008, and lasted 6 hours and 7 minutes. At the completion of the mission, Kimbra's cumulative spacewalk time was 12 hours, 52 minutes. Kimbra launched on board Soyuz MS-02 to the International Space Station on October 19, 2016, as part of a four-month mission for Expedition 49 50th. Kimbra became commander of Expedition 50 upon the departure of Soyuz MS-01 on October 28. On January 6, 2017, Kimbra performed his third EVA, along with Peggy Whitson. During the EVA, they installed three new adapter plates and hooked up electrical connectors preparing the way to replace the IS batteries. The EVA lasted 6 hours and 32 minutes. Kimbra performed his fourth EVA with astronaut Thomas Pesquet on January 13, 2017. During the EVA, they prepared the infrastructure to replace the IS batteries. The EVA lasted for 5 hours and 58 minutes. On March 23, 2017, Kimbra performed his fifth EVA with Thomas Pesquet. The main objective was to prepare the pressurized mating adapter 3 for installation of the second international docking adapter, which will accommodate commercial crew vehicle dockings. The EVA lasted for 6 hours and 34 minutes. On March 30, 2017, Kimbra performed his sixth EVA with Peggy Whitson. During the EVA they connected the PMA-3 as well as installing new shields in Node 3 axial shields. After losing one shield, additionally installed another upgraded computer relay boxes on the station's truss. The EVA lasted 7 hours and 4 minutes. During this EVA Whitson became the record holder for the most EVAs for a woman. Kimbra carried a soccer ball recovered from the wreckage of the Space Shuttle Challenger to the is after which it was returned to the family of Challenger astronaut Ellison Onizuka and put on display at Clear Lake High School in Houston. In July 2020, NASA announced that Kimbra will fly to space for the third time on SpaceX Crew 2 along with NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, JEXA astronaut Akahiko Hoshide, and ISR astronaut Thomas Pesquet. He is currently on his way to the IS.